Well, thank you very much for agreeing to do this interview. How excited are you about this gig tonight? Actually, I'm quite excited. I'm more excited about the support that's actually flown on from Gibraltar to the UK, you know, to support a Gibraltarian band, which I think is very, very exciting. And it's about time, you know, that something like this did happen, you know, to just show the world the amount of talent that comes from Gibraltar that's actually trying to make it out there in the music business. So really pleased, you know, for the good, amazing turn up that we've had tonight so great absolutely couldn't agree more well if you don't mind we'll have a little chat before the gig starts so okay that's fine okay okay so um my first question is what inspires you what makes Surian click basically um i think it's just everything in life to be honest you know every every day every person i'm with you know and every situation that i'm with you know it just inspires me and you just get ideas and you know you just hear melodies or conversations that you have with people you know and then it just triggers an idea triggers a color triggers a thought and then et voila you know you start writing you start composing you just um go with friends you know you just sort of interact and you start creating together and then it evolves into a song Great. Okay, so your music seems to incorporate lots of different cultural textures. How do you pick from each particular sort of rhythm, from each culture, to make your own sound? I don't actually pick. It's something that comes in naturally, you know, and um, I think I've got to give credit to the people that I actually write with or people that I um, show um, and my thought and my idea and then they actually say, oh, have you ever thought about this sound for this particular part of the song? And that's how we arrange, and that's where the influences come from, you know? It's the different importation of, of ideas from different people, you know, that they bring in, what they know, and I guess that's how we make the different sounds fuse together, and that's where the sound comes from, and that's where the rhythm comes from, you know, so... And are any of your songs particularly sort of biographical, autobiographical? Of course, everything. Everything, as I said, you know, like, we get inspired by things that happens in your life, you know, and the people that you're with, so... Obviously, like the way you feel and the things that you learn from other people and stuff, and what you gain from other people, so that's part of your life. It forms the person that you are. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So you build up into this character, into this person. So everything stays with you, and then it's the way you translate it and you let yourself go on paper. Some people let themselves go and dance, and some people let themselves go on paintings. You know, I just write. That's right, yep. And um, I can tell you love performing. Um, every time you sing it's always with heartfelt passion because your songs are quite as you say you know they're, they're quite meaningful and, and autobiographical how does it feel to kind of expose yourself to an audience like that to be honest I don't really think about it I really don't think about it you know it's not something that um, I, I'm just on stage and I go oh my god I'm gonna sing about this song and this song is about this and it's in my head how am I gonna express it I just think do you see what I mean? It's, it's something that comes in naturally, you know, I just go there, do my thing, do my songs, and if people can get what the message is about, then that's great. But if they don't and they enjoy it, that's even better. So. Who are your influences? My influences, um, basically, everything and everyone I've met, and in terms of artistic influences, we've got, um, coming back from the 60s, 70s, you know, Janis Joplin, Eva Cassidy, Jeff Buckley, Freddie Mercury, you know, all these people, you know, great songwriters. But then, you know, like, um, as I say, everything and everyone has really been a major, major influence. So it's always important to have that kind of eclectic mix. It's very important, I think. You need to progress. And you need to, you need to le let yourself grow, but not only as an artist, but as a person also. Okay, and um, audiences in England, I mean, how, how do they kind of, well, what's their response to your kind of unique sound? Well, as soon, um, as, soon as they read it's um, a Latin flamenco um, band playing or artist, they automatically think, oh, she's going to go there with a you know, polka dot skirt and go, ole, you know? <laughs> but obviously it's not about that. But the, the, the response that I get is actually quite warm. You know, people actually have um, this positive outlook to it, you know, because it's something new, you know, something that they've never heard of before, you know? And I find it really... Um, 
great, you know, when they just come up to me and they go, oh my god, you know, this is so different, you know, I didn't expect this. And that's what I want to hear, you know, didn't, the unexpected, you know, and that's great. So the response is actually quite warm. But you know, everyone's different, you know, it's like Marmite, you can either love something or hate it, you know. So. <laughs> I, I like that analogy. <laughs> so, okay, so you're very driven, but obviously this industry is tough, and as a Gibraltarian living in London, I'm asking you, do you ever think, oh God, you know, this is more hassle than it's worth, I'm packing up, I'm going back home to Gibraltar? Do you want the honest answer or do you want what you want to hear? <laughs> I want the honest answer. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. But, you know, but that everyone, you know, everyone in life, you know, goes through those stages. Again, like, not only with music, and sometimes when you want to pursue something, you know, you can actually go, oh my God, this is actually killing me rather than motivating me, you know. But I guess it's, it's that crossroad in life and then you choose. Life is about choices. So you choose and then you just carry on forward and then you know again you get stronger and stronger and then you realise you know you've gone through that phase, you know, it's the next day, the next chapter in your life. So you just keep on writing. I agree once again with you. <laughs> okay, so um what's your opinion on the current state of the music business? What what do you think of the charts? I love it. <laughs> no joking. <laughs> I don't <laughs> what charts man? <laughs> It's all pretty much the same out there, you know, and I guess that like, the music industry is nothing to what it was before. But again, you know, I think people out there, you know, they need to adapt with change and that is what they do and they don't want to make it. Unfortunately, it's no longer much more about the music, is it? You know, it's a, it's a, dull, a whole different thing right now. But, you know, you know, you, you just have to live with it, you know, but at the end of the day, we each have our own success. We each measure our own success, so you, you always need to remember who you are and what you want to be, and then you can get to that stage and you want to go further. You just need to remember that you have been successful so far, and don't let yourself get down by everything that's happening. You know, so. So programs like X Factor, would you ever consider taking part in them just to reach sort of like a wider audience, to reach sort of achieve commercial, commercial success? You know, like of course I've thought about it, but I've never had the guts. Yeah, because do you know what I mean? It's like, it's I'm I'm very um, I'm a kind of person. I think that you've got to fight for what you believe, regardless. And I like to learn the hard way. How easy and how short-lived would my career be if I went to something like the X Factor to pop idol? You know, I want to have the scars. I want to tell my stories. You know, I want to suffer. <laughs> you know, respect. I've got to tell you. Yes, absolutely agree with what you're saying again. <laughs> okay, well, tell us about any upcoming gigs, possible album, anything you've got in the pipeline. Well, gigs, you know, I'm always, um, I'm always going to be performing. You know, at the moment, what I'm mainly concentrating is um, getting a new repertoire out. You know, um, creating um, new material. You know, getting everything sorted in the hope of in the next coming months to have an EP out and then hopefully get into an album. But definitely it's something which is in the pipeline and I'm just getting all the material together to have this ready soon. <laughs> you know what, well, I can't wait to hear more stuff from you because I honestly, I saw you um, this summer in Casements and I thought you were truly amazing. So, and that's, that's an honest, you know, opinion, seriously. So, um, hoping to hear a lot more from you. Thank you very much, okay? Thanks. Okay, good luck with your career. Thank you. Okay, that was Surya and Dalmedo for um, rocktomusic.com. Gotta keep, gotta keep, gotta keep moving.